beautiful Monday morning in the second week of summer break. And of course, I'm starting my day with an iced coffee. Perfect. For breakfast, I will make a quick smoothie bowl with frozen bananas and blueberries. Okay, first thing are frozen blueberries and a few chunks frozen banana. Some vegan protein powder. I only got chocolate, but vanilla would be better. A splash of oat milk to blanch. Just look at this color. And this is the texture we want. Now the toppings. We've got a green kiwi, coconut flakes, soy crispies. This is a vegan honey and hazelnut butter. It looks aesthetically pleasing. And if I don't feel healthy after eating this bowl, I will probably never feel healthy. <laughs> but first, taste test. The texture is perfect. Creamy, icy, but not too icy. Another cool feature. <laughs> it will turn your tongue blue. Now that I'm well nourished, vitaminized, energized, whatever, I can get some work done on my compute computer and edit a few things. Okay, it's already 1 p.m. and I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna make lunch for us. And because it's tomato season, we've got loads and loads of tomatoes from our own garden and they taste so good. Honestly, so much better than store-bought tomatoes. And I'm gonna make a tomato salad with that. First things first, chopping the tomatoes. Now in here are all the tomatoes. Looks pretty beautiful. Add a little, add a little olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and season with salt, pepper, dried herbs. You can also use fresh ones. And fresh or dried garlic. And this is the flavor of summer. And to make it a bit more filling, I will make a panini to go with the salad. First, I will get a nice piece of the spaghetti and cut it open. First, a layer of creamy homemade hummus. A few slices of smoked tofu. I'm also adding some of that tomato salad. So juicy. <laughs> Fresh from the garden. Yeah. Fresh arugula, my beloved vegan feta cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, a balsamic cream, and sriracha. Clap. This is a proper sandwich. It looks so, so good. <laughs> Time for the sandwich. Mm -mm. Make this sandwich at home. It's so good. Let's go to the Asian supermarket. My favorite place in this entire village. <laughs> I am back and I bought a couple of things. Let me show you. First up, my beloved crispy chili oil because I ran, I ran out of it and definitely need some more. Then this is Samyang. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's in Korean, <laughs> as it says, Korean soybean dipping paste. And I think it's fermented soybeans. I've never tried it before, so I'm pretty excited. Fried shallots because they're always good. Then a banana sauce. It was vegan, I was curious, so I bought it. <laughs> and last but not least, um, those noodles, which are perfect for ramen, and they are also, as you can see, no eggs in it. I'm ready for a snack. So I will make little donut holes in the air fryer, and I'm mixing some protein powder with flour, baking powder, and vegan yogurt. I'm using soy yogurt. Knead until you get sort of like a dough, cut it in four and roll until it looks like this. A 
And I love making quick snacks with the air fryer. Let's take a bite. Oh my God, it's so fluffy. <laughs> if you have an air fryer at home, you should definitely try this one. Such a quick and easy recipe. Dinner time, and as mentioned earlier, we're making ramen. To be precise, tan tan men, which is the Japanese version of the Sichuan dandan noodles. And let's go. All right, I started by making my broth, and for that I charred shallots, ginger, and garlic in a pot. Once it was nice and brown, I've added dried mushrooms for more umami flavor. Deglazed the pot with water and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Then the soup base. For that we need sesame paste or tahini. Soy sauce, vinegar, sesame oil and I've also added some of that crispy chili oil. And that's your flavor base. Usually tantanmen is served with a ground meat topping. I use tofu instead and season it really well with soy sauce and different spices. Then we can remove the aromatics from the broth, add some oat milk or soy milk and bring that to a light simmer. After about 10 minutes, reduce the heat and carefully stir in the soup base. In the meantime, cook your favorite vegan noodles and then it's basically already time to serve. For that, we first need loads of this flavorsome broth. Add in your cooked noodles. We've also steamed some greens, the ground tofu, crispy shallots, some crispy chili oil, all the good stuff. And then you can finally dig in. Time to slurp. I think it's very hot. And full of umami. <laughs> I gotta say this was amazing. I used the recipe by Okonomi Kitchen and I'm definitely gonna link it to you in the bio down below. Dessert time. And that's how I end my day. Breakfast time! And I will make a yogurt bowl. So here I've got some toppings. First things first, vegan yogurt. I'm also adding some vegan protein powder and mix that. First the berries and I'm swirling that in a little bit. Next up we have some granola, soy krispies, kiwi, hazelnut butter. And a drizzle of that vegan honey. It's honestly really beautiful. And it tastes really good as well. First mission of the day is going to the town hall and getting my actual driver's license. Let's make lunch. And we're making a quick pasta salad with homegrown tomatoes. So here are the tomatoes. And first I will chop them. Pasta! Add them to a colander with a bowl underneath, a little salt and mix that. That way they will release their delicious juices and we can use that as dressing base. Add-ins are zucchini. Also fresh from the garden. <laughs> and smoked tofu. Now we'll use that as base of the dressing with balsamic vinegar and season to taste. And whisk in some olive oil. Now we can add the pasta, tomatoes, the zucchini, smoked tofu, and sun dried tomatoes. And then mix it. I just filmed something for a collaboration and now I'm hungry and it's so hot today that there's basically only one thing. Nice cream! <laughs> First up we need of course frozen bananas, obviously. In goes some vegan protein powder and a splash of oat milk. It is creamy! Spoonful 
of cold goodness. <laughs> I've added a little cinnamon to this nice cream. Next level. And the dates are like little caramel chunks. <laughs> Dinner time and we're making burgies or burger. <laughs> Then add some sumac, lemon juice, and combine everything. Now I'm making a burger sauce with my homemade hummus. To that we add some vegan yogurt, a little chili sauce, a little paprika, and duca, also with lemon juice. We've got burger toppings and the sauce. Now we need the patties. And for that, I use such a vegan burger patty mix and I'm gonna shape them. Very good. Schmeckt sehr lecker, Mama. Good morning, let's make breakfast. I just want something very quick and easy. So to a bowl, I'm adding vegan yogurt, Weetabix, ground flax seeds, a little protein powder, and oat milk. As toppings, I'm using a few banana slices and frozen blueberries. And this is hazelnut butter mixed with maple syrup. protein powder was cinnamon flavored and it smells really good. This was a freestyle combination but it's very delicious. Mm. I think you know what I'm gonna have for lunch. Summer rolls! <laughs> You need, of course, some peanut butter, vinegar, maple syrup or agave, a splash of light soy sauce, chili crisp, and some ginger and garlic. It's important that you just dip, don't soak. Some are prettier than other ones, but it's all about the taste. Fresh filling, and let me tell you, the chili crisp in the peanut sauce is amazing. Air frying makes almost everything better. I think it's still very hot. Never mind. <laughs> One of my favorite quick snacks. Dinner time. Of course we need coconut. This is a green chili, red onion and garlic, some red chili powder and a squeeze of lime juice. I think this is addictive. <laughs> Tofu is going to be our protein source and I'm gonna crumble it in here. 